Well, hello everybody. Well, she went and did it again. I just get one project completed that I was challenged to do and that was that uh, drywall lift. But I mentioned to, to Mrs. Ted Homer that uh, I sure wished I had me some drywall stilts so that I didn't have to use a ladder and go up and down, up and down, up and down when I, I start mudding that ceiling over there. And of course, being my wife, she says, why don't you just build some? Guess what this project is that we're getting ready to do here now. I have already started gathering things. I spent a little bit of time on YouTube. Didn't care for much of anything that I saw there. So I've got something in my own mind. Uh, did see part of this on YouTube. But uh, we're going to try to build something that's real close looking to uh, drywall stilts. But I'm going to make it out of scrap wood again. Everything I do is going to be out of scrap wood, and I'm not planning on spending a dime. Uh, everything will be recyclable. When it's all done, I'll be able to take it apart. Uh, we'll just uh, keep you posted on it. And what we've got so far is, let me uh, help you here. I've got a couple pieces here about 23 25 inches long 23 and a half inches of deck board now I know my foot is about 11 11 and a half inches so we can cut this in half and that should give me my foot base as well as the uh, floor base now, I have to be 22 inches up. That's, I went over and measured the little ladder that's over there, which is perfect, and it gives me 22 inches is what it would have to be. So, I'm going to spike it up 22 inches with these two by fours. Along with the two by fours, I've got some uh, pieces of two by four that I will use in between to keep them square, keep them from rocking, uh, give me the support I need. And I have a piece of four inch drain pipe that I saw a lot of them using where they cut off pieces and they, they heated it up and molded it to the uh, part of their leg, their calf to where that helped stabilize everything. Now, most all of them that I saw consisted of taking a pair of shoes and screwing it right into one of these boards. I'm not 100% sure that's exactly what I want to do, but as we go along, we will see, because I did just throw away a pair that would be almost perfect, Velcro and all, and if I can find them and dig them out of the trash can or trash bag, maybe I will. Maybe that's exactly what I'll do. So I'm going to try to take this slow and easy. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible, but yet make it so that it's very easy to duplicate for anybody out there who might be interested. So again, sit back, grab that cup of coffee. We're going to see what we can do and meet this challenge that uh, has been handed to us again. We'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, here's where we are. I have the foot pad and the foot pads and the foot pad and the foot pad all cut out and you can tell they're marked. Center line, center line. All four of them done exactly the same. Knowing that I have to have a 22 high still add those together they're two inches so I have four two by fours 
20 inches long. Again, you will see I have center lines marked all the way around so that I can easily locate and screw together. Now, to keep this this outfit from racking back and forth, I have made four two by fours that I will mount between the legs. That'll keep it from racking back and forth when I'm standing on it. At least I hope it will. And these, as you can see, are also marked. Center line, center line, all the way around, everywhere it needs to be. Okay. So now I'm going to start assembly, and I'll get part of it assembled to show you how it's going together. And then we will, uh, I think I'm going to pre-drill everything on this simply to keep it from splitting. And I'll be back and show you how it is, uh, or how it's going. Okay, there's the first one put together. It's not necessary. You don't have the top and don't have the bottom on it, but this just shows you what I was talking about, about these 2 by 4s Now, these, like I said, because I have to have 22 inches high, and those are an inch apart, so that's, or an inch a piece, so that's 2 inches, makes these 20. I cut these at just a snad over 11 and a half inches wide or long, I guess you could say, and they're deck boards, like I said. So the spacers, I just, just picked a number, and they're all six inches. So that way, by marking them, I can align them without any problems whatsoever with the uh, deck boards and uh, get them mounted top and bottom. And we're still, quite a ways away from getting this done because I still have the leg supports to uh, come up with. We'll be back. Here's the basic assembly. Uh, we got the, the floor foot or the foot on the floor. My foot goes there. I've repeated this more than once that it has to be 22 inches. And I think you can see it's 22 inches. Okay, that's the easy part. Got one more to make. Uh, then I got to figure out how to do the strapping and and everything else, so that I can tie these to my feet while I'm uh, working on the ceiling. Be back. The uh, main assembly I guess you could say is done and I have actually stood on these and they don't wobble except back and forth from side to side which I kind of okay. expected that. I uh, went in and dug the old shoes out of the garbage bag they don't have to smell good do they to work right I don't think so but they're definitely going to be setting out for a while to air a little bit now as far as these one by threes I think I'm going to use those for the support that'll attach to this and come up. And then you saw a while ago I had that uh, four inch drain pipe. I've taken that, cut a four inch piece and cut a three inch section out. Now I'm going to get my torch, heat this up and mold that to fit around my leg. And that way this will then be mounted up here somewhat like that so and then I'll figure out a way to strap that to my leg so that it is all solidly attached we still got some work to do on it but I think we're getting there got the leg supports on suck that up with uh, some drywall screws uh, have the uh, shoes screwed down I think I may tape this a little bit because that one was so bad and it, it screwed down too. I drilled a hole as you can see right here and a screw went down through there on both of them. 
I'll probably put a little bit of tape around that one just just because it was breaking loose as you can see right there the whole sole was breaking loose that's the reason they were in the garbage can got these cut they once everything is done I'll get it up there and we'll figure out the angle these are I'll probably drill and put two two bolts and nuts small ones on there to hold them and uh, Mama Stead Homer and I are heading to her storage room in the basement to see if we can come up with some Velcro that uh, once that goes on I can wrap around and uh, connect this upper part to my leg which then should allow me to get up and walk around fairly comfortable. Now we got to put something under it because wood on wood slides like uh, well the stuff coming out of your nose so we've been discussing the possibility of bicycle tires or whatever we got to do something to give it some kind of grip okay we'll be back okay it's the next day and uh, let you know this piece here and that piece there are gone I or will be they're screwed onto the bottom because we found some perfect uh, treading to put on the bottom here so that it wouldn't slip and slide. They actually are pieces of the uh, comfort uh, flooring that you can put down for work areas that you get at uh, Harbor Freight. And as uh, Mrs. Dead Homer recommended, I threw a little bit of duct tape over it. Now, what we just did is we took the PVC pipe and we went over, I had them on, and uh, Mrs. Stead Homer here marked, you can see the mark there, the angle that this should be while I'm standing up. And yes, I was standing up in these. Uh, and we have it here too. So that's my task now, is to drill those. I have carriage bolts that I'm going to use to mount those with up there at the top and one of the carriage bolts is going to go through some wide velcro that I have that uh, will be to strap it to my leg I think it'll work and uh, we're getting ready to find out alrighty we'll be back in a minute there done and ready to try on and test now as you can see, I've got these bolted on with carriage bolts, uh, Velcro, and what I was saying while well ago, move it up here, we have a complete tread down here. Now hopefully that will make it so that there is no slip while trying to walk it around on the floor. So we're gonna go across, go back over into her side where I can sit on that ladder and put these things on and then I'm gonna get up and see how they work. I'm not really what you call comfortable. Nothing might be uh, professionals to be and it is cutting in right in here so I'm going to have to come up with something there for that but uh, you can see I'm right up at the ceiling where I belong small minor adjustments and I believe one of the adjustments is bringing these in a little closer by Replacing this board, cutting that, and adding it to it so that uh, I don't feel like they're pulling out to the side. If I did that, I believe that would bring a lot of comfort to it. And I can definitely feel it digging in right here in the front. So I can maybe cut some of this back and I'll get rid of some of that or have to put some type of padding on. Okay. 
There you have it. Four bands. Recycle. Drywall stilts that will put you up in the world and make it easier to do a lot of work up high. Okay, we've had our first trial, and uh, one of the big things that I felt was this right here. It's sharp, and man, that was digging into my shins big time. The short period of time that y'all saw me wearing them in there, that was maximum. No more. I could not wait until I could get that off because it literally felt like it was cutting so back to the drawing board on this uh, got to find out something to do with these because it seems like it makes me want to do this I don't know if it's the positioning of these because this one was coming this direction and this one felt like it was that direction of course being up that high that's not comfortable I don't know that I'll ever get comfortable on it in the time period that I'm going to use them, but so long as I can be safe, that's the biggie. That's the part that I have to make sure of. So, back to the drawing board a little bit. We'll be back uh, when I come up with some type of a hopeful solution. Well, I'm thinking they're done. Did some modifying on them yesterday and tried them out. And they seemed to work pretty good. The only difference was I had my short breeches on and instead of uh, my jeans. And it was a little irritating on the leg, but not much. But up here, I cut these down, sanded them, smoothed them off on both sides so that the only thing that'll be against the leg would be these. Also, cut this and redid this so that this was up against the foot a little bit closer on both sides actually I'm thinking that almost I may need to take and cut this off up here because it's up against my foot so much that it actually starts hurting after a while now when I tried them on it seemed like they wanted to set out like this they were, was pulling my my feet outward so now I call them outriggers. You can see that board right there. And that board there. Now, they are put on there just to tilt them in a little bit and they seem to work. Mrs. Dad Homer wants to call them something else. She don't want don't like calling them outriggers. She calls them training wheels. So she and I we have issues to talk about they work and that by the way down here that was her idea she challenged me to build all of these they had that tendency to feel like they wanted to spread out or to fall out to the wrong direction and she, her idea was to put those outriggers on and it worked so anyway there you go I will be using them you will see me using them, but that'll be a different video. I think this was, will be the end of this video so that uh, uh, I can get started on something else. Never mind that board. This is Dead Homer. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you. Uh, enjoyed your stay don't forgive to get forget to give us thumbs up subscribe tell your family tell your friends we'll catch you all the next time bye bye